Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys, Auto Repair guys. Today we'll show you a common problem with the BMW E65, E66. This is the 7 series guys and uh, what happens with those things actually? After a while you might notice that the blower fan, the one for the heater and the AC does not blow as much as it should, even when it's on high. Sometimes it might work fine, sometimes not and eventually it will not work. So. That's the part right here that we'll be fixing today, we'll be replacing it. It's a blower resistor, okay this one right here. So stay with us to see uh, how we are going to remove it now and how we are going to replace it. Not a very complicated procedure and we have the link uh, on our website world, uh, mechaniclifestyle.com in the description below so you can check them out if you need to. Oh yeah, guys, you can check it out, I have it on high. It's barely, barely blowing. You cannot even hear it, feel it. Watch. It doesn't regulate it. At all. You have to go really down for it to be able to turn off. Okay. But max doesn't work. It's just blowing like really low gear, low speed. And now we'll be showing you guys how to fix that. Okay you guys, so uh, it's all very complicated procedure, but now we will need to remove uh, remove the screws that hold that uh, cap underneath, that plastic cover. We'll check how many there are with a few screwdriver, but I believe it's about five maybe. I might be wrong, some models might differ slightly depending like 750s are maybe a little bit different. But the procedure as a whole is the same. Okay, this guy here seems like he's stuck a little bit there. Okay, came out. Alright, this should be the last one now. Now we have uh, some models have one wire, some two. We have one only for the light. So you need to pull this one out. Some models have uh, speakers there as well. So depending on what you got. Okay, now there is one screw that we need to remove for that cap right there. Okay, so that thing can come loose now here. Okay, all we need is just like that. We don't need to remove it all the way. We'll just pull it out of the way. It's not very complicated at all. Okay, and we'll show you now. Okay, this uh, plug right there, this is the plug for the resistor. Okay, so we'll need to disconnect this one. Because it goes through that cover that we will need to remove so we can get to the resistor there now. Okay, let's see what we have there. Okay, with the, uh, with the Torx bit now. Okay, this one is a T15 or 17 sometimes. Okay, one more there. It's very uncomfortable, you have to work upside down. Okay, this one there as well. Okay, we need to pull that piece out now. Okay, so we have one more there with the T20 and the one that we got loose in the corner We'll just remove them with the bit by hand with a short bit They're a little bit hard to get to guys and that's the best we're doing right now to be able to video somehow underneath because there is not much space You can see being upside down Alright guys, removing this one there now. This 
It's very inconvenient, but it's doable and it will probably take you less than 30 minutes to do the job yourself and spend a great amount of money. It could be the motor. If, if the motor is not working at all, it might be bad motor. We'll have a video how to test that. But if it's just not blowing hard enough, most likely it's just a resistor. Alright guys, so this is the cover now. Okay, we need to pull on it a little bit. Okay, it will come out. Okay, this is the cover itself. Alright, let us show you now where, where all the screws are. So you can see a little bit better. One here, two, three, four here, five, six, seven. Seven screws that we need to remove guys so you can get to it because it's really hard to show you that. Okay, now there is one more wire on the resistor that we need to pull out, this one there. And we have two screws that we'll need to remove now. Okay, and let me show you those are the screws. Okay, right here. This is the new resistor, so that way I can show you. This is the wire that we just disconnected, and this is the first wire that we disconnected before we remove the plastic cover. Okay, and that resistor is out of here, guys. This is the uh, this is the old resistor, as you can see. Looks pretty much the same like the new one. Okay, I want to compare them quick. Okay, one is original BMW, the other one, the other one is not. Okay, this is the original one, and this is the new one right here. Okay guys, so we're going to uh, put everything together in reverse order with two kilo part and we're going to test it and see if it works. Okay guys, so I want to show you how good it's blowing now. Okay, I got it outside and I want to show you how that resistor fixed our problem. The fan will blow you away. Oh, check it out. I bet you can hear it in the camera too. And you can adjust them. You can see, pretty easy. So it works all the way on high with no problem. Next problem that we have, a major problem, we need to go get gas. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.